Hi guys, my name's Chris and I'm the project manager at the Fulcrum Kitchen at Fairshare in Barnsley. I've been asked by the amazing people at In Churches at the storehouse in Bradford to make a soup on behalf of Bradford Bronte Rotary Club and it's an absolute privilege to be asked. So thanks to the guys there at In Churches, today I'm going to make a delicious pea mint soup. We're going to finish it with a delicious bit of crispy serrano ham and it'll be a dish that would grace any dinner table. So I'm going to show you how to get stuck in guys. So I'm just going to talk you through the ingredients that we're using for today's dish before I start prepping. Now what we've got is we've got an onion, celery and carrot and some garlic. Now that's the base of our soup. That would pretty much cover the base of most soups that you would make. We've then got some frozen peas which are delicious, full of flavour. And then we've got a vegetable stock cube. We've got some amazing fresh mint that we're going to use. And then we're going to finish with some crispy serrano ham. And then also a little bit of soured cream as well. So it's time to prep your veg guys. Make sure that you wash all your vegetables. There's no need to peel the carrots. The skins are full of goodness. Chop everything nice and safely. And then we're ready to move on to the next stage. Okay guys, so once you've actually got all your veg prepped, so your carrot, your onion, your celery and garlic, you can roughly chop them because we're going to be blitzing this down. Get your pan onto a medium heat. We're just going to add in a tablespoon of olive oil and then the mix of your carrot, celery, onion and garlic. All that goes into the pan as well. Give it a good mix round. And this would be the base of any soup. So if you're thinking leek and potato, tomato and basil, carrot, coriander, we'll all more or less start with the same base. So we're just gonna cook this down until it sort of takes on a little bit of color, not too high a heat. We don't want the garlic to burn. Just let that cook away, just tick away. Your chance to read your, your cookbooks. So when you get to the stage where your vegetables are just starting to soften off and your onions have gone a little bit translucent in the pan, we're just going to add in our stock. Now, I'm not going to add in all my stock. I've got some water here as well. You want about 900 ml of water and stock combined, but I just want to put enough stock in. It's just going to help to loosen off the veg and just to soften it that bit more. Then as this cooks, what I'll do is I'll add my peas in and then I'll sort of gauge the consistency. If I need a bit more water, because I know when I start to blend it down, it's naturally going to thicken up a little bit. So if I need to splash more water to make it a little bit more of a watery soup, I can do. Or if it's, you know, too thin, I can just leave it on the pan just to carry on cooking and it'll start to thicken up naturally as well. So just add your water in, bring that to the boil, and we wanna get it to the stage where your carrots are just so, just tender, so that when we get the stick blender in, it's all gonna, you know, puree down. So we'll leave that for another few minutes. We'll add in the peas, and then when we get it to the nice consistency, we'll chop up that lovely fresh mint. We'll add that in there, season it to perfection, and then I'll show you how you finish the dish off. Once your stock's added to the pan, just allow it to simmer, nice and gently, for around 10 to 15 minutes until the veg is tender. The soup's been simmering away, so the carrot, celery, onion and garlic, we just sweated that off, just to get a little bit of colour, so they release the natural sugars, get a bit of flavour. Then we've added in the stock, but not all of it, just half. Just enough to get the carrots so that they're nice and tender. So if I was to put my fork through, you should see that it just goes through, okay? If I can get my fork through, I'll get my stick blender through. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn it down onto a gentle heat. Now, the peas, although frozen, are absolutely delicious. Nothing wrong with frozen, fruit frozen veg whatsoever, full of goodness for you. I've left these deliberate to the last minute. If I put these in too soon, it's just gonna drain all the color away. And what we want is quite a nice vibrant green soup, yeah? So we add in our peas like so give that a little stir around and I can see at this stage now as I'm looking at it it's quite thick so there's not a lot of liquid in there now so I know when I come to stick blend it down it's actually going to thicken up quite a bit so I'm just going to add in the rest of the water from the stock just to loosen it off a little bit 
and literally because the peas have been sat out for about five ten minutes while this has been cooking they're just starting to defrost slightly so it's not going to take much more cooking than that you've got your carrots in there you've got your celery in there you've got your onion in there you've got your garlic in there again there would be nothing wrong with it at this stage once the peas are nice and tender as well just getting a ladle and putting it into a bowl and having it sort of rustic and nice and chunky but what I want to do is I want to show you how to finish it off get it into a nice smooth soup add in some delicious fresh mint and now you can finish it with that crispy serrano ham and on a medium heat add in the ham let it crisp up meanwhile get ready to blend your soup so you take your stick blender push it right to the bottom of the pan just start pulsing, pulsing it, move it around slightly, still on the bottom of the pan, and then you can tip it, just very, very slightly, and blitz it down until you get it to the consistency that you want. So if you want it really smooth, keep blitzing it down. If you like it half and half, so you've still got some texture, then obviously just blitz it halfway. But the key is you get it how you like it. Okay guys, so when you get your soup to the consistency that you want, then we can start to think about seasoning. So as I say, if your soup's too thick, don't worry too much about it. Add a splash of water or a splash of stock. And if it's too thin, just pop it on the heat again with the lid off and just let it reduce slightly. So I'm just going to have a little try of mine now. So I've got a couple of tasting spoons here. I've added no salt and the reason being is we're going to be putting serrano ham on and that's quite salty by nature. The other reason is, it's got a stock cube in there, and again, that has salt in, so... Oh, wow. You can really taste the freshness of the peas, of the mint. The only thing I'm going to add in there is just a pinch of pepper, just to finish it off. I'm not adding any more salt. A little more blast round. And then, guys, we're ready to start dishing up, as simple as that. Very, very simple. Just take your bowl, a couple of ladles of soup in there, like so. Look at the colour of that, doesn't it look amazing? And then we've just got a little bit of sour cream, and we're just going to pop that, like so. And then take a little piece of your crispy ham, Pop that in, and then a little sprinkle of pepper, and there you go guys, that there is your pea mint and ham soup. So that's it guys, really really straightforward soup, a lovely one for a starter, a dinner party, or for just sharing with friends, or for eating when you're doing the excellent work that you guys are doing as well. Thanks ever so much to In Churches, Surya, for asking us to do it. I uh, hope the night's success, uh, really, really enjoyed doing that and now I'm going to enjoy eating it as well. If you've liked what you've seen, give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe and uh, thanks ever so much. Good luck guys, take care and happy cooking. <laughs>